Eddie Cheever is our chauffeur once more as we sample the abandoned splendours of the Österreich ring. The Austrian Grand Prix was first held here in 1970 and the drivers loved it for its steep climbs and falls combined with fast sweeping curves to provide a racer's delight. Sadly, due to political wrangling and the fact that the circuit is right in the middle of nowhere, there had not been a Grand Prix here since 1987. Unfortunately, that's all we have of Cheever's run, but now we switch to Patrick Tombe's Renault at the same circuit. This time, Alan Buenar fixed his camera to the front of the car, almost to track level. This is another marvellous camera position, never tried in Grand Prix racing, which is crazy, for along with our previous central position above the driver's head, it affords us a truly sensational view, all the more so at a spectacular circuit such as this. As I've already mentioned, the Österreich ring has been abandoned by the Grand Prix Circus, and watching this film, one can only gasp at the folly of that decision. Grand Prix racing is watched annually by hundreds of millions, if not billions, of TV viewers, and they want to see exciting racing on exciting circuits. So why is it that they're fobbed off with a number of processional tracks which are also visually obstructive and deprived of great racing circuits such as this, not to mention Brands Hatch, Zandvoort and the original Kyle Army? How wonderful it would be to see great tracks such as these in use again, preferably from a camera position such as this.